Welcome to another tutorial on MATLAB. In this tutorial, we will see the implementation of the plant model that we have seen in the previous tutorial. So let's get started. The plant model that is needed to be created, we need to create it in the Simulink environment and that we can create by clicking on top on the Simulink icon and Simulink will be initialized. So we will click on the blank model. So once we click on the blank model, it will create this empty canvas. And first of all, we need to save the model file. We are saving it as feature one. Now we need to set some blocks. It could be an input block. Basically, uh, the input block, uh, either it could be uh, an acceleration, which is coming from the user side, or it could be a brake pedal input. The variation of these inputs will vary from 0 to 100 percent so 0 means the brake is not pressed or accelerator is not pressed and uh, the 100 percent means it is being pressed fully t max over here represents the maximum torque that the vehicle can generate via the acceleration pedal so that will be being multiplied with the percentage of acceleration that is being applied now same thing we need to do for the brake pedal so once the acceleration is acceleration percentage is being multiplied with the t max we will have the exact force that is coming from the acceleration pedal so output of the gain block will be the acceleration pedal output the same thing we need to design for the brake pedal as well and we can add both the acceleration force and the brake force together so next in one is being connected which is serving as port 2 and then we need to mention the maximum brake torque that is possible in the vehicle so b underscore max will be the maximum brake force that can be applied then we will be multiplying both percentage of brake that is being given and the maximum brake possible here r represents the radius of the vehicle which is basically to convert this entire force into torque and that torque will be divided to get the angular acceleration divided with the mass the torque will be divided with the mass and then you will get angular acceleration and integrating the same you will get a angular velocity here we have considered 60 kmph as the initial angular velocity and to measure the distance we need to integrate again the velocity and at the end we will get the distance so in this case the acceleration and the brake are the input and the distance that is being measured uh, is coming out of as a output so we need to name the signal properly so here we are doing the signal naming the main objective over here is to build a rough model which uh, will mimic the behavior of the scenario so that we can validate our controller model now we have named all the signals that is we need to measure or need to know so this entire system will be now converted into a subsystem in which we will just put the acceleration and the brake and will get the distance at that moment of time so this is the entire subsystem which usually takes the acceleration and brake as the input and it will be giving the distance as the output so here we need to define an enable block why we are defining an enable block it is like uh, the sensor will not be able to detect beyond a certain range here in our case we are considering it as 10 meter so if it is beyond 10 meter then the system will be enabled to detect the distance between these two vehicles and the operation will happen here t max r and uh, remaining things need to be defined so here r represents the radius so we can consider it as 0.21 meter we can consider the mass of the vehicle 1500 kg and here we need to mention also the t max and uh, b max so t max over here equals to 2000 and also we need to define the b max so so here b max will be equal to 
or 500 now we will press on control d and it will update the model so now the errors message or the red blocks are being removed now we will add some input to the system to verify so one is used to enable the system so here we will be giving the percentage of the brake that is being applied or the acceleration is being applied and as first we need to see how without brake this acting and acceleration percentage i am giving 50 percent which is equal to 0 0.5 and now let's add a display block to see the distance now when we simulate this particular model we are able to get the distance as minus 126 which is not a feasible number so we are adding a saturation block where the upper limit is 10 meter and the lower limit is 0 meter which represents vehicle is near to us and uh, vehicle is far from the range of the sensor so in place of the integrator block we are using a discrete integrator block which will be adding the velocity over time because we are giving the acceleration as the input now if we simulate the model the distance is coming in the range of 10 meter and the velocity is gradually increasing if we give the 0.5 percent acceleration the velocity is gradually increasing and a time will come where the distance will be smaller than uh, 10 meter and based on this acceleration we will see uh, the distance is gradually decreasing to zero suppose now we want to simulate it from the outside with a 50 percent acceleration and see the distance over time how it is changing so whenever it is detecting a distance beyond 10 meter it is showing as 10 meter because it is not able to detect via the sensor but once it is able to detect via the sensor with the help of this acceleration input gradually the distance between the two vehicles will decrease so let's simulate till that, that point and see how the impact of acceleration is going on on the vehicle so 50 percent acceleration is gradually making the distance near to zero so now we are near to zero so this type this model we can implement to create the plant model so let's uh, add some beautification to the model so we have added a picture to the model and now this is somehow representing the feature that we want to implement and this is how we have to build the plant model so this is the vehicle system or the plant model and based on this plant model we will be developing the controller and we will be continuing the further tutorials in this series in case you are liking the channel please consider subscribing for the latest upcoming videos if you have any comment or any suggestions please share us in the comment section so that we can improve your experience of learning matlab in this channel happy learning matlab and have a good day